today at the delicious crescent i am going to show you how to make hyderabadi chicken biryani that is so mouth watering and aromatic with juicy chicken in layers of fluffy rice prepared in a rice cooker so it is easier than most recipes while still retaining the authentic taste the ingredient amounts are with the instructions and now let's make it we start with making the biryani spice mix so we take cinnamon sticks black cardamom green cardamom cloves bay leaves shazira or black cumin black peppercorns and a small piece of star anise you can find all the spices at indian grocery stores or online transfer the spices to a spice grinder and grind it into a fine powder then we will get the whole spices ready for cooking the rice take a metal cooking infuser or a muslin cloth and pack all the spices in it if you have no problem with adding whole spices to your rice then you can go ahead and add them whole slice the onions really paper thin here i'm using my mandolin slicer and this is a very important step to get really crispy fried onions heat oil at medium high in a wide frying pan fry onions in batches and do not crowd the pan fry until the onions are crisp light golden brown and set it aside watch carefully as it can take only a few seconds for the onions to turn dark brown and especially for chicken you want the onions to be light golden brown or the chicken meat will become too dark if you use fresh oil that has been heated optimally then the onions will fry crisp and not become soggy and oily i recommend using chicken with bone cut and clean and then add yogurt that is neither too thick nor too runny ginger paste garlic paste salt red chili powder turmeric chopped green chilies biryani spice mix 1/3 of the fried onions and combine it all well notice the consistency and amount of the marinade around the chicken it should lightly coat all the chicken pieces but not be too excessive marinate the chicken for about 3 to 5 hours rinse the rice 4 to 5 times until the water is clear and not starchy This step is important for removing the fine starch powder that is on the rice grains and it prevents the cooked rice from sticking together and keeps it nice and fluffy. Be very gentle with handling the rice while rinsing. Now you can see the difference. The water is clear. Drain the rice very well using a colander. Take a small amount of the rinsed rice and soak it in water. Save the remaining rice for later. In the rice cooker, take some water, salt, oil, the metal spice infuser. cover turn on the rice cooker and bring the water to a rolling boil then add the rice cover with a lid and let it cook meanwhile grind the saffron using a mortar and pestle adding a pinch of salt to make a fine powder 
and dissolve it in hot water and let it soak. Now our rice is ready. Let it cook just until all the water is absorbed. It is important to not let the rice steam until it is fully done otherwise it will stick together. Just when all the water is well absorbed turn off the rice cooker which takes about 15 to 20 minutes in my rice cooker. Remove the metal spice infuser and discard the spices. And now we will assemble the chicken biryani. Scoop out any juices collected and discard. Then scatter chopped cilantro, chopped mint, sprinkle some lemon juice, oil, most of the fried onions, and scatter the soaked and drained rice in a thin layer. This raw rice will absorb the juices from the chicken and keeps the rice layer from getting soggy. Next, layer all the cooked rice. Notice the fluffy rice texture. Top with remaining lemon juice, saffron water, fried onions, and ghee. Place a sheet of parchment paper followed by two sheets of thick aluminum foil and place a lid tightly over it. This will help seal all the steam inside. Then bake it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or you can cook it on the stove and the instructions are on the blog. Meanwhile, I will show you how to cook the rice if you don't have a rice cooker. Take some water in a cooking pot. Add salt and bring it all to a rolling boil. Then add the rice and let it boil for 4 to 5 minutes until the rice grains are cooked al dente. Drain the rice in a colander. Notice how fluffy the rice is. Now our chicken biryani is ready. Let it rest a few minutes and then gently mix the rice and chicken layers. Using a spatula, mount the biryani on a serving plate making sure to present the rice in various colors white, yellow, orange and brown. Place some chicken pieces on the top. Scatter fried onions, herbs and extra saffron rice. Serve the biryani with some yogurt salad that is raita, egg curry or eggplant curry. This biryani recipe has been very popular among our blog readers as it is easier and gives you very reliable results. Now you can make this world famous biryani that is so delicious and addictive. Guaranteed you are going to love it.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.